Hi, welcome to another video. Going to do another guitar build. This isn't quite a kit, it's a collection of bits I've got. I can't remember why I bought this body, but it's there. I've sanded it down. Oh, sugar. Oh, well, that's some of the dye on. Um, just hit it against the dye pot. Strat style body, sanded it down. Don't know how it's going to look with some dye on it, but we'll see. Um, so they all pre-routed, they'll get a pit guard, like a parchment wired up, although I'll make some changes to that. We'll get a strap, official strap bridge. Thought I had plenty of tremolo arms, but unfortunately this is Imperial, so if I had to buy a 10 30 second arm for it, something to remember when you're doing your bridges, I'll just check the part number on the back of the packet to make sure. And we'll the machine heads. These are quite good ones actually, I know the really cheap ones are a bit better than that. I don't know. Stuff my little one. Things I've got my parts ready. Got my little treble bleed stuff. I've got a few of these made up ready to go. They do make a difference actually. I don't know why they don't fit them as standard because they don't really have a downside. You just fit them across the first two lugs of your volume pot and what happens is you just turn the volume down. You don't really lose the tone of your guitar. Two second mod you can buy them. They're only a couple of pounds to buy them. If you want to get one. And we've got the neck plate. There's a neck here. Again, I can't remember why I've got this neck. But I do. I've got it marked up for where I would cut it, but I'm not sure I'm going to use this one. I'm going to have a look first. It seems to have some sort of finish on it, but it's not a very good finish, so... I don't know. But anyhow, we'll do this. I'll just sit down. And we'll apply some dyes. So this is a K of dyes again. Uh, that I used in my previous guitar. Just take a little white rag and rub this on. I'm not sure, I think I'm going to do some sort of amber on this, um, but I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. It may end up becoming a solid colour because these two thick glue lines where the woods have been joined together. Um, I've made some slight modifications. I always find the wires get caught here when you put them on this pick guard, so just take that down a little bit and taking off the bit here that's never routed off again that seems to cause some troubles when you try putting the wires on but what about this staying on um, it will help darken down the grain as well when you do colours now it's a dark stain we'll put on so you just rub it so I'm trying to do this while filming with my iPad it's not that easy I don't have a tripod to sit it on, unfortunately. But, we'll rub this on. When you sand it, it pretty much will disappear, except it stays in the grain and helps bring out the grain a wee bit. So, I'm just using this, it was some colour left over from doing the bass guitar that I've just posted a video on. So, let me just use up the dye. It'll help bring out some of the stain, but you can see it's bringing it up. As we do it, I'll just show some of this and then we'll stop and the next time we come back it will either be when this dye has been applied, just rub it and make sure you can smooth it out. You'll find if there's any glue spots in the guitar or anything, the stain obviously won't sink in so you'll spot them so we'll really see how this comes up across glue lines. They're in the guitar, that's the only thing about some of these bodies. I don't know why they waste a bit of wood making a mess of the glue. But I've tried to sand down as much as I could see. So we'll see. In case you're wondering, these wee marks are here because I was originally going to... That's what I was going to do. I was going to route this out for a Floyd. And put a Floyd in it. And I had a pick guard with a, just a single humbucker. I was going to try and do a Gary Moore. Esque red guitar, the one he played for quite a while. Amazing the tones of man got a guitar with one pickup, one volume. You can make it sound like anything. Now we'll pause here and see if this will work with.
Right, I've got a couple of coats of stain on. Oh, see where we're at. It's looking okay. Let's come up all right. The bits are matching not too bad. What we'll do is we'll let it thoroughly dry overnight. And give it a quick week over with the sander. Get some of this off. Show the grain. And then go from there, see what we want to do. Okay, so we've sanded down nice and smooth and reapplied a new coat of oil. This time I just used, you can see the old colour in there, it's a lot darker. Um, but what I've done is I took a tiny wee bit of the old colour stain and I've added in some reds and yellows to give this kind of coppery colour. It's kind of, it looks a bit different on screen than it does in real life. But I'm just about to apply now the oil. I've decanted it into a little tub. It's this stuff here I'm going to try. I've not used this yet, but I thought I'll try this. What up oil. Got the glove on. A little lint free cloth to apply it with. So we'll see how this goes. I've got it ready with my wee supports so as I can flip it over and it doesn't touch on the thing, make sure you're well protected. It's strange looking stuff this, it's kind of pinky colour. But let's try it. Remember it should darken down the finish somewhat. But we'll get it on. I'll just do a little bit on camera. And then I'll continue to put it on off camera. So it's kind of holding my iPad and try to do this and see correctly where it's applying. Get this one. Put enough on. Basically let it dry for about three, five minutes. And then rub off any excess. Those thin dyes coming off with the clean. Should be okay though. I'll just keep it going on and put plenty on. Let it soak in. stuff on. And we'll pause there and I'll we'll continue doing this. This is proven difficult as usual. So we've got our oil on. I've done three coats and then let it dry overnight and I've gave it a very very light rub down with 800 mesh sandpaper and I've gave it Two more coats. I quite like it, it's a wee bit patchy, but when you buff it down it looks nicer. Sorry, this is just in, I was just shielding it, I was just checking, I wasn't overstepping anywhere, so it's shielded up, ready. I think what I'm going to do, just because I might as well, because it's getting near the end of the night, is give it another, it's quite a nice marking, it's... Got a strange smell to it. Let's finish this what top oil. It's almost, I hate to see it, but it's almost fish like. I wonder if it's got, it says it's plant based, but I could swear it's like boiled fish bones. Just a very faint smell of it. It's nice, it goes on nice, it feels quite nice. It's got not quite a gloss. And more than a satin, probably kind of mid sheen. But I can see there's some little marks here where I've been around the guitar, so I might just give it one more light coat over, like I say, and then maybe just rub it down with some very fine maybe 4 0 wire wool with uh, some furniture polish, let it cure overnight. So we'll see how that goes. We'll do that and we'll come back and see where we are. And our status update, just ready to put it together, so this will just be a wee quick interlude. Body's finished, it's been waxed and buffed, and I have to say I'm quite happy with how it's come up. I like it, I like it a lot actually. It's come up nicely, neck has been given a couple of hits of poly, and then smoothed out. It's not the best fingerboard in the world, but that's all been fret dressed, levelled, Checked with the straight edge and all the rest of it. Nut slot's correct for 
these import mics are really thin nuts but I've got a proper bone nut for it so I've made the adjustments for that we've got a pit guard, we've got all the screws everything all laid out, ready to go so next video we'll get it together so we have our completed guitar let's do a wee test see where we're at all the electrics are looking fine no buzzing Just a little touch on those pickups to give them a bit better. So a recap of where we're at. Quite nice, quite a bit of sustain. Wow, it's all fine. So, what have we done? Finally put a new bone nut in. Had to shim it up though in order to get it to the right string height. Um, these import necks are very deep whereas standard nuts are about a mil and a half shallower so that's been done we've got our decent locking tuners on we've got our Fender American vintage bridge in just to remember this was all built from spares it wasn't a kit as such the only issue I have found and it's in here somewhere is Fender bridges are meant for full thickness bodies and these kind of DIY bodies aren't always full thickness so my trem plate does not sit flush when it's sitting in the correct position so I've got a few options because the trem sits high of the body but the time the springs are in by about 2mm so if you ever hit that issue you've probably got three options one the easiest one is what I'm doing just now, which is just leaving the trim cover off, but that's helping me because I can adjust my string tension until the guitar is settled and uh, stable. And it doesn't look too bad. The other thing I could do, and it wouldn't be too difficult, but is take about two mil off the bottom of this block, but I'd lose the stamping on the bottom. You wouldn't really lose anything else. It'd be pretty easy to do. You just grind off. A couple of mil and then it would sit low and then the third option which is the one I may end up doing is just increase the size of this cut out by about three mil as an opening and then it would just bypass the springs and then that would sit nice but apart from that I'm relatively happy with how this turned out I love the look it doesn't come across nearly as well on camera as it is in real life, it's more of an orange uh, amber colour in real life but it goes nice with this parchment uh, style or age style pick guard and pickups um, and then I'm really happy with the finish on the guitar I wasn't sure how this body was going to look but there we go, I like it I'm happy with it, it plays really really nice I spent a bit of time doing the fret ends Leveling the frets, dressing them, recrowning them, uh, and I'm happy. Like I say, it's good the way this one turned out, considering it was just a, a bunch of bits that I had lying around. It all went together the nice, the neck went together nice. Uh, I can't remember, I think I put a shim in it. I can't remember now. I might have shimmed the neck at the side. I don't know, I don't think I did. It was a good fit. Anywho, that's that one complete. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I will do another one. I'm running out of kits that I bought last year, but um, I've got three left that I've been dreading doing because they've all got errors on them, all by the same manufacturer, but that'll be covered in a future video. But that's it for this one. Thanks again. Cheers.